So I've been getting a lot of questions about BPC-157 and whether or not it can help heal injuries faster than have left on their own. So let's talk about it. So BPC stands for Body Protecting Complex. This is not a steroid. It's not a pro-hormone. BPC-157 is a peptide. It's actually 15 amino acids long. It was originally isolated from the gastric juices uh, in the stomach. But that said, BPC-157 is not something that humans naturally make. Rather, it's got to be isolated from a larger string of amino acids found in gastric juice. So there is some research on BPC-157. In one of the earlier investigations, they basically bathed the Achilles tendons of mice in the BPC-157 compound. Those researchers reported that the compound helped the Achilles tendons heal faster than those tendons that were not bathed in BPC-157. In another investigation, researchers cut the Achilles tendons of rats and reported that the BPC-157 substance improved blood vessel formation. That's not Nice, but they didn't report if the substance actually helped the rats walk better. One of the problems I've always had with the research on laboratory animals is that they actually inject BPC-157 into the stomachs of the rats and not directly into the tendon or area that is injured. But our story doesn't end there because in 2021, a human study on BPC-157 was published. This investigation involved 16 people who had knee problems and they essentially broke them up into two groups. One group got BPC-157 BPC-157 injections by itself, and another group got those same injections, but they combined it with a different peptide called TB4. A year later, the researchers called those people on the phone to see how they were doing. Of the 12 people who got the BPC-157 only injections, 11 out of the 12 people said they were doing better. So that's almost 92%. Now, what about the people who received both TB4 and BPC-157 injections, well, it was a little lower, about 75% of those individuals who got both injections said they were doing better, and 25% of those individuals said they were not doing better. Now, that sounds really good, but let's keep in mind that there was no placebo group in this study, and they didn't bring the people back in the lab and do x-rays on their knees or any other kind of medical test to see how BPC-157 improved. They just called these people on the phone and asked them, how you doing? Now, as for how this stuff might actually work, we're not really sure. There is some research that BPC-157 might raise nitric oxide levels. Other research suggests it improves endothelial growth factor and perhaps even growth hormone receptors. But at the end of the day, we just need more research and I want to see more human studies. Now, one more thing about this stuff. You're probably going to be seeing dietary supplements that contain BPC-157. I've already been seeing their advertisements. Do they work? There is no research on an orally taken BPC-157 supplement as of yet. The research so far involves injections of this stuff. So I view BPC-157 dietary supplements with a hefty dose of skepticism. And until better research comes out, I suggest you do as well. If you've tried BPC-157 for yourself, leave a comment below and let me know what happened. I'm really curious.